Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another additional Creatures 2 Creature Spotlight. Today, we're looking at the wonderful tyrant from Aberration, the Baluasaurus. And you look at it, it's like, oh, well, that's a Stratosaur. And it pretty much is in the general body plan. It's only got two claws instead of three, though. And it, well, it does have like a little tiny vestigial finger there, but... Yeah, three horns. But this is a wonderful knockout tame. Like I said, from Aberration, it's uh, in the green and blue chambers. You know, so the fertile chamber and the biolume. Now, one thing is, it's loud. Right? It is definitely loud. So you'll, you'll, you'll hear it coming in the wild before, you know, it becomes an issue. Okay, good. You're asleep. Stay that way. Now you have your left click bite, right click head smash. You gotta see on the roar command. That's pretty much it, right? So pretty much is your big carnivore. Now, being aberration, it does have a little something extra. It can gather resources for you. Now, granted, it'll break lock, you know, rocks like an Ankylo, right? So you're gonna get flint. Flint and metal, less stone than flint, so on and so forth, right? Hit a tree, you're gonna get thatch more than wood. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's a dinosaur that can really protect itself while you're out harvesting, which, it's kind of nice, honestly, when you get down to it. And, it, I mean, it gets a pretty good amount of metal. That's 52 just from a few river rocks, so definitely worth it. I'm not sure if that eye color is the same on all of them or not. Some of the additional Creature 2 creatures uh, have eye colors or region, from what I've noticed. But, you know, different things here. So, the head swing hits a bit harder. It can damage stone structures, which is awesome. It's got a roar. It's got a snarl on X. Well, according to the wiki, it has something on X, but it's not happening. So, oh, I've got my uh, long way on my shoulder. Whoops. And, uh, yeah, cannot be used while moving, but yeah. So it has an armored body. Only takes 75% of incoming damage. It's also immune to bleeding and radiation. So you can use this thing throughout the entirety of Aberration, which is rather helpful, actually. And it is not invulnerable, you know, to Ravagers, but it takes down their biggest advantage right away. It's immune to bleeding. And at that point, Ravagers quit being so scary. Uh, see, it has weight reduction. Crystal green, blue and red gems, and element ore only weigh 40% as much. Which, granted, I didn't harvest any of that, so we can't really see that in action, but say... Get ourselves some crystal and toss it in here. Weighs 100 in my inventory. Weighs 40 in his. So... This boy, yeah, okay. So definitely handy there, especially with the gem notes. It's a shame it doesn't do it to stone, but you can't have everything, right? But it also has a five times gather rate on crystal, the gem types, and element ore itself. So its name translates into blue horned brutal lizard. Pretty fitting, wouldn't you say? Definitely fits in with the, the kind of aberration theme. Uh, I believe the stripes are actually somewhat reflective as well, so it kind of glows a bit at night. Not as spectacular as other aberrant creatures, but it's still kind of cool. And apparently it does have a rivalry buff as well that I'm reading about here. It states it has a rivalry buff, but it doesn't state what against, so it may have been removed. But it's not the end of the world, though, either. But this is definitely a pretty good early, you know, early game mount. It'll definitely see you through, you know, the fertile chamber and the bioluminescent. The bioloom area. Could even be useful, you know, further down, as long as you have a good high level one that, you know, between that and a charge pad, you should be able to take out Reapers. But like I said, it's main downfall, at least for me is how loud it is. Like everything this thing does, 
is noisy. And every time I've tamed one, they tend to stay, oh, at least that far away from my base at all times. They're fun to ride around on for about five minutes. And after that, you just, like, my ears are bleeding. I have to stop. But that's pretty much it for the, uh, the blue source. Uh, let me do the one last check here. And we're going to go over to our elevator here. I don't know why I turn on admin mode. There we go. And his weight comes in at a whole whopping 400. So these are viable for the rock ball fight as well. Or any other boss fights you want to go into. But it's doable. And it actually might not be a bad thing to take into Rockwell. It's not going to do insane amounts of damage, but it does have damage reduction, so it's going to last a little bit longer, and it's immune to, you know, to bleed. So, little things like that. Um, they don't have anything special, though, against Nameless or Reapers, so they're probably going to suffer a bit when it comes to that. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, Sign signing out. Have fun.